Hey guys, good morning. It is day, I guess, three of the cruise. Two and a half. Uh, we're docked at Castaway Key, Disney's private island today, so we get to explore that. But I went ahead and washed my hair this morning and we headed up to breakfast. We did the buffet this time. They had lots of really good options up here and we found the Pog Juice. It's called Orchard's Best. It's not Pog, but we asked for it yesterday. They said they didn't have it, but they sure did. But look at all this stuff I got. Oh my gosh, just everything. It's just a huge buffet. Yum. My ketchup. So yeah, eating a big breakfast, then we'll head out to the beach. Okay guys, we are done with breakfast and we just got off the ship. We're in Disney's private island, Castaway Key, and we are waiting over here for Jack Sparrow. He's supposed to have a meet and greet thing, but this is so cool. The island actually seems like quite larger than expected. It's beautiful weather right now. Of course it is early. It'll probably be warming up soon. I'm probably just gonna wear this cover up all day because I am so sunburnt already not good but you can kind of see the whole ship from here which is cool and they have a Rapunzel on the front which I didn't even know it's so cute let me show you here is the beautiful blue water you guys oh my gosh they have tons of excursions you can do I don't think we booked any we're kind of just checking everything out I know they have an adult pool. I think it's the farthest away. <laughs> they have some snorkeling. Totally forgot to bring down my GoPro camera, but that's okay. It's mostly like snorkel. I don't think they have much fish in the area because there's so many like people around. I feel like most of the fish probably go away, but um, they do have these cute little hidden sunken treasures that you could snorkel and look for that are Disney themed, which is kind of cool. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you all? Good, how are you? Good morning. You know how hard it is getting pirate out? Yes. Well, what brings you to There's a map there. You have a collection of them. You're not supposed to collect them. Sorry that you all get to go past here. What you have is. Strengthen that life. You guys, I finally met Jack Sparrow and it was amazing. Oh my gosh, I've always wanted to meet him. We almost did during Halloween and then we were in line and then we got cut off like right before it was our turn. But he is so fun. He looks just like him. We found a lizard. Just look how beautiful this island is. I can't get over it. Hi Pluto! We found the gift shops, you guys. They have so much cute stuff and exclusive merch. Look at this Castaway Spirit jersey. I might like this one better than the one that was on the cruise. They're, I don't know, everyone's buying the mediums. So I might just get a large in that one. They are pretty oversized, but it oh, looks like they have more in here. Let's go see if they have a medium. It looks like more large. They have a cute blue tie-dye. found a beach bag. I think it's the only one that they have, but I think this will work. So many different things you can do here on the island. They even have hair braiding as well. Christine's getting hers done over here. So Christine got her braids done. So cute. It was so fast. It was only $10, right? Yeah. So cheap. I didn't know they actually have like different merchants that you can buy from here on the island too. It's obviously non-Disney related stuff, which is so cool. So they have a lot of Bahamas, just souvenirs and stuff like that as well. All right, so I think we might get a nice frozen drink here. We're at Summertime Freeze, I think it says, with Olaf. How cute. We saw Olaf last night at dinner. Here's what they have on the menu. It looks like they have like coffee frozen too, which is cool. They all look so good. I don't know what I want. Maybe the frozen heart? No, banana, ice palace. We're going for banana. We got the Olaf sipper cup. I had to. It's just so stinking cute. We got the banana and orange drink. Everything banana, you guys already know. So I think we are going to try and get on the tram and maybe go all the way to the adults area where they have different pools, um, 18 plus. And they have like lunch over there too. So we're gonna go check that out. All right, we made it over to the adult beach. 
They have lunch starting already. They do like a fun cookout with some, I think hot dogs, hamburgers, you know, all that good stuff. And then there's a private beach up ahead, the adults only. So we're gonna go check that out. Look at all this white sand, I'm loving it. So this is called Serenity Bay and you take the tram over to get here. And it is 18 plus. So as we're sitting at the beach here, they actually have people that kind of go around, make sure you're good on drinks, get your drink order, which is really nice, and then they just bring it right out. So of course, you guys know I had to get something, a banana. Again, so this is just a banana daiquiri. It's actually so good. It tastes like a milkshake. So just enjoying this and views of the water. Okay guys, we're getting back on the ship. It is about mid-afternoon. Roasty toasty over here and sweaty. <laughs> But, oh my gosh, I absolutely love the Castaway Key. I wish we could be docked here overnight and come back tomorrow, but just one day. But tonight is actually Pirates Night, which I'm really excited for, so we're gonna go freshen up in the room and head out for all the festivities. Okay guys, we got our little pirate outfit on. I just have this Pirates of the Caribbean shirt from Disney World I got a while ago, and I did put my new ears on as well. Um, it's almost five o'clock, so some of the festivities are starting. Me and Christine went to go take pictures with Captain Hook and Smee for a little meet and greet, and I think we're about to leave port here, which I'm still waiting to catch like the horn going off, because I still haven't done that this whole trip, so I'm gonna wait around. I think it's supposed to at five, and then we're leaving port at like 5.15 or so, and then we just have a whole day at sea and then going back on Friday. So yeah, it should be a fun night. We're dining at the Arendelle restaurant again, but it's all pirate themed. So it should be a little bit different and they'll have a different show. And then they have a ton of different pirate shows tonight as well. So I'm really, really excited. <laughs> the Bayou Lounge. I really like this place. They always do a lot of trivias here. I think they're gonna have a band in a, probably like 10 minutes or so, but since it's kind of like Princess Tiana theme, they do beignets. We got a couple of drinks. I just got an orange soda, so. And then Christine got a root beer float, so. I'm yeah, just gonna hang out here for a little bit. Ready for pirate 
lights to red for pirate night that's cool but we're eating at Erin Delgan but they have a pirate menu which I'm excited there's some different stuff on there so I'm gonna see if we can find something that I really like there's a couple options I looked at the menu I had that look decent so we'll see but the desserts look amazing so there's that <laughs> end of the night we got to see some fireworks we watched um some fun karaoke a lot of people did broadway songs i feel like it was pretty fun but now it's like 12 30 i am ready for bed uh we got back to our little towel blanket to animal thing okay. it's pirate night they left us two gold doubloons as well but yeah i guess it is octopus i don't know <laughs> i've been trying to figure it out and then I thought it was like a pirate because of this, but no. I think it's definitely supposed to be an animal. But anyways, that's it for tonight. I'll see you guys the next day. Hey guys, welcome to our last day of the cruise. It is at sea day, so we aren't docking anywhere. It's kind of just a chill day, do whatever. You know, explore the ship some more. I know there's a lot going on, um, different events. They have different trivias going on and stuff like that. So, you know, just gonna hang out. I feel like a lot of the trip has been very go, go, go. So it'd be nice to just relax a little bit. But I think we're gonna go head down to get some breakfast. And I'm so excited for tonight's dinner. It's gonna be at 1923, which I think I'm gonna like that restaurant the most. Um, the pirate night was pretty fun too. I got, I got a pasta last night. I'm sure you guys saw it in the video, but I didn't really talk about it. That was pretty good. They did a whole pirate theme menu and dessert. And then we went up to watch some of the fireworks above the cruise ship, which was really cool. But yeah, I am starving. I need a coffee pronto. So let's go get some food.
Nico. We've been doing a ton of fun activities already this morning. We did some bingo. I watched Christine do it because I was too scared. Because <laughs> I get embarrassed to like yell out bingo. And then we did some Disney tunes trivia, which was super fun. It's very hard though. There's a lot of Disney experts on this cruise. But I definitely want to do some more trivia later. Um, I'm thinking we might head across the way to the Star Wars bar that they have in here because we haven't shown that yet. Take some photos because it's really cool. It's called, I think, the Hyperspace lounge so I think we're gonna head over there there's the Aladdin musical this afternoon so lots of stuff going on while we're at sea today all right so here we are entering the hyperspace lounge and they have a really cool door let me show you in here by the way I feel like they have another one that's even more that comes with like a trip to Skywalker Ranch or something Okay guys, so that was the coolest drink ever if you guys want to get it. It's called the Batu Spire Sunset where they do that cool like dry ice ball thing on it and it's actually really tasty as well. So this is such a fun experience. It reminds me of uh, that space restaurant that they have at Disney World. We're about to watch Aladdin. It's I a Broadway I, show. Yep, and I saw it on Broadway Taste. I think this is a little bit um, mini version, but it looks super good. I'm fun. excited. The Little Mermaid one was really good, but you can't film, so unfortunately you guys don't get to see it unless you come on the cruise, but I'm sure it's going to be amazing. Okay guys, so we just had a quick lunch. I took my little patch off, and now I'm feeling very queasy. I need to go find my new patches. You're only supposed to start for 72 hours, because I don't know, the ship is rocking and rolling. But we're going to go head in to this cute little sweet shop. It's an extra charge but they have really cool desserts like gelato macaroons lots of cool stuff so it's all inside out themed as well it's super cute try some gelato because they have some really cool flavors of course pistachio gelato reminds me of the Kiali perfume they also have like candy explosion bubble gum really yummy flavors it looks like and they have fruit loops too don't know what I want everything sounds really good maybe I'll try the bubble gum though okay guys I went with the pistachio I didn't like the bubble gum but this one is really really good I don't think I've ever had pistachio gelato hello guys I am getting ready here for dinner, I just propped you up. Hopefully this is an okay angle. I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to find a spot for the camera. But we're getting ready for dinner, which we have at 8.15. I did go to the pool just in the hot tub for a little bit because it was really chilly outside um, up on the top deck. So I just hopped in the hot tub, warmed up. Um, yeah, I'm just doing my makeup real quick. I feel like my makeup has not looked good this entire trip because my face is red, it's dry, and so nothing's working. Just not looking my best. Even after having a facial, it's still not great. I really don't think that facial is that good, personally. But I brought pretty much all like cream products since we're mostly on the beach. I really haven't done a whole lot with my makeup, but since tonight is the last dinner, um, like I mentioned, I'm in a group of 20, and it's main girl Courtney's birthday today, so everyone's dressing up, so I thought we would do some more glam makeup. Um, 
even though for the rest of the trip I've just been kind of barely wearing anything and barely any eyeshadow just my skin just has not looked good but that's what we're doing I'm gonna put on a really pretty sparkly dress and I'll see you guys for dinner all right guys so we're headed to dinner at 1923 which is I think based on it's either Walt or Roy Disney I'm not sure which one but we're wearing all black it's supposed to be one of the fancier restaurants into the room uh, I think we're just gonna get our stuff ready because uh, we're leaving pretty early off the ship tomorrow it's like 11 we went to a fun 90s trivia after dinner uh, dinner was pretty good I got the lamb I was trying to decide if I wanted to get that yesterday but I ended up going with the pasta yesterday but it was pretty good um, and then we got a few desserts to share as well I really like their appetizers though they had like a tortellini pasta and a really good corn chowder soup that's pretty much like basically the end of the cruise um, tomorrow we're just pretty much leaving and heading straight to Disney World mostly gonna spend the day at Epcot for flower and garden festival and we might check out Magic Kingdom the next day so I'll probably vlog a little bit of that as well but yeah we're gonna get ready get our stuff together get ready for bed i had a really good time on the cruise it was so much fun the group i was with was really exciting and fun and super nice so that made it a really good kind of fun trip it has been weird all day today i didn't feel any motion this whole cruise until today everybody is feeling it which is crazy i don't know if we're going through a storm and there's some rougher waters but i feel like i'm just going like this literally the whole day it's weird because i didn't feel anything like that the past few days i know i had the patch on but I took some Dramamine, and I don't feel sick, I just feel wobbly, so I'm glad it's not making me nauseous or anything like that, but since we're going to bed, that should, you know, be fine, but I'm going to show you guys our last little uh, towel thing that our host left us. It's a little heart, how cute is that? And then again, they always leave little chocolates. Hey guys, so I'm actually back home from the trip, that was my last cruise vlog, but I do have a couple of Disney World vlogs coming up, or maybe just one, we'll see. But I did have some questions about the cruise, so I just kind of wanted to cover all of those and just a little bit about it. So I absolutely had a great time, I absolutely thought it was worth the money, and it was my first cruise, and now I feel like I'm definitely a cruise girl, like I feel like I prefer this over staying at like a beach resort because I like being able to get on and off the ship and go to different places I don't like to stay in one spot I get bored easily I feel like so this just keeps things exciting and there's always stuff to do so I went with just my one friend and of course we both split the room together so I think we both ended up paying about 1500 each for the four night cruise I feel like it's pretty on par with a regular Walt Disney World trip it's pretty equal to that staying at like the resorts and going to the parks and stuff so I really thought that I got my money's worth there's so much included I feel like the only things that aren't included really is like your alcoholic beverages I think they have a wine and beer package but they don't have it for like actual cocktails and stuff like that so all of that is extra you do not have to spend extra on the extra restaurants you have your restaurants included that rotate throughout the whole cruise for you so you do not have to pay for any extra food if you don't want the only extras on my ship were like the different bars you go to like the Star Wars bar I went to was completely extra I had to pay for that on my own the upscale dining I did the Enchante they also have the Palo which you can do as well which is gonna be an extra charge but like your Frozen your Marvel your 1923 is all included your breakfast is included in your lunch and you can eat as much as you want throughout the day and it's all free and then the sweet shop that they have was not included that one is extra and all your activities are free if you do want to play bingo like we did that one's a buy-in so you actually can win money off of that but everything's included which is nice like if you spent that much food at the parks you'd probably be way overspending so that's why I kind of think the cruise is almost cheaper than going to the parks and on the cruise if you 
you do have kids, I feel like you can get character meetups like done really easily if that's what they care about. Um, sometimes at the parks they have really long lines. I didn't find the lines to be too terrible long on the cruise ship and I was on a fully booked cruise. I got a lot of questions if it was crowded. It was a fully booked cruise and the only times I felt really crowded were at breakfast. Um, if you ate a late breakfast, get up early because a lot of people aren't up early. If you get up around 8 a.m., go get your breakfast then and it won't be as crowded. But if you're in the buffet area, it can feel a little bit much with all the people around and trying to find a table during breakfast time. We didn't end up going to the buffet for lunch, so I'm not quite sure about that, but when we did eat the other times, on the other days, it didn't feel very busy because like some people are on the ship, some people are off the ship, whether you're at port um, in a different city or whatever is going on. Um, and when we did the activities, I never felt like any of the rooms were too crowded. So I actually, it didn't feel like it was a full booked cruise at all. If you are wanting to do a Disney cruise as an adult, I am, am 31 with no kids and I had the time of my life. Now you definitely have to like Disney to enjoy it because it's very Disney themed. Of course they have other activities that are not Disney themed, but I really enjoyed doing like the fun Disney trivias, but they have other stuff like we did a 90s trivia. They have karaoke, um, but like all your shows and dinners are Disney themed so you definitely have to like Disney a little bit if you are going on this cruise but if you're just wanting some like alone adult time too there is a small pool area just for adults but I found it to be pretty packed the times that I visited it the only things that weren't packed were the pool is pretty small in that area and then they have a couple hot tubs but sometimes it's a little too warm for that um, and then we really enjoyed the private 18 plus beach at Castaway Key. That was really nice. A big area just for adults only. So there is adults only things. There is adults only activities like when we did the karaoke. That was adults only and some of like the game shows were also adults only because they have adult humor in them. So there's definitely things on it but you definitely <laughs> still have to like Disney because it's very Disney themed. If you are thinking about going to cruise, how I kind of planned it is I just watched a ton of YouTube videos ahead of time. They pretty much tell you everything and anything you need to know so you can know ahead of time. And for must-have things I would bring, definitely my behind-the-ear patch was helpful. You can also bring Dramamine just in case there is some motion sickness. Obviously, bring sunscreen. You'll want like a small backpack that you can bring with you on the ship because you're not going to want to lug around a huge suitcase with you with all your carry-on stuff. It's kind of like on a plane. When you first get to the ship, they're going to take your luggage um, and you're going to have a carry-on with you. So bring like a small backpack for that with all your essentials in it just in case you don't get your luggage till later because we didn't end up getting our luggage till like right before dinner. So make sure you have some things you might need in there like any medications, a swimsuit, an outfit change, anything like that. But I think that's pretty much it. I really loved it and now I'm looking at other cruises to see what I can do. I think I've convinced my husband to do one. So we're kind of looking at maybe trying an adults only cruise and seeing how that is. Cause he's up to go to Disney, but he wants to try a different one first, I guess that's his first cruise. So I'm kind of looking for some ideas that, I don't know, what's important to me is I want it to feel luxurious and I want it to have good food. I don't want mediocre food. Um, and I don't want it to be like a party central like how carnival cruises kind of are because I don't really care about the drinking that much but I mean here and there is fun but yeah that's kind of my thoughts on everything let me know if you guys have any more questions I can answer for you thanks so much for watching the vlogs you guys seem to really enjoy these and I'll see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>